Okay, this is the 3M Sound Pro sound meter. This is the sound meter you're generally going to be utilizing. And uh, we're going to go through the Sound Pro checklist, which is to the left here. Each sound meter will have this checklist inside the box. And you'll be able to successfully complete a sound meter survey utilizing this checklist if you just go through all the steps. We'll do it real quickly here. And the first section is to calibrate our sound meter. So to do that, we are going to take our calibrator, get that ready. Uh, we're going to activate the Sound Pro sound meter. And to do that, we're going to hit the on off button, hold it down for three seconds, and the sound meter keys up. I'm going to brighten the screen so it's easier to see. And we'll wait five seconds for it to warm up. Number two says choose one and one using the left hand key under the display screen. That's this key right here. Make sure it's on one and one. If you press it again, it's going to show sound level meter. We want it on one slash one. Right, next step is to press the CAL button, which is the second key under the display screen. This is this button. We're going to press that. And that shows us that we're about to calibrate the sound level meter. Next step is to place the calibrator, which is this. Turn it on back here. You'll hear a faint buzzing noise. And that means uh, it's giving off 114 decibels. We're going to place that on top of the sound level meter, like so. And will come down and on step number six it says to press enter your enter button is this arrow that's directly in the middle so we're going to start the calibration you can see the meter counting down and again the uh, calibrator is 114 decibels so it should be start registering close to 114 decibels we're at 114.1 so what we're going to bring it down using these arrows here we want exactly 114, so I'll press the down button one time at 114. We're going to lock it in by hitting the enter button. All right, we've just calibrated the sound level meter. Now we will turn the calibrator off. Try not to drop it. All right. Now, we are going to hit the escape button, which is also the, the on off button to bring us back to the view session screen. And we are going to start our field study, which is there. It says number one, select the view session. You can see it says view session, so we're going to hit the enter button to select view session. Um, you may or may not have readings that will pop up immediately. This one does because I was just utilizing. Uh, number two says from the keys below the display, select S for slow. So you just keep hitting the button and it'll go. Uh, you can either hit F, S, or I. We want S for slow response. The next display is uh, we want it on A. If it's not already there, just click it. Keep pushing it until you hit A for A waiting. We want to make sure this is on meter one. It'll go either meter one or meter two, but we want to make sure it stays on meter one. All right, using the up and down buttons, we want to make sure this range is from 20 to 80 decibels. We're already there, 20 to 80. But if we went down, you can see it'd go from 10 to 70. Or if we went up, they go from 30 to 90 and even higher, 40 to 100. We want it 20 and 80. So we're there using the glass sunglasses icon. Click on that. And we want to arrow down to where it says LEQ. See right here. LEQ, that's the level equivalence. That's going to be like the mean or the average decibel level reading. That's what it's going to be measuring for. That's what we want to utilize. And once we get that, we'll hit the 
sunglasses again to make sure it's locked in. Correct. All right. We're now ready or about ready to take a sound uh, level meter survey. Before we do that, we need our windscreen um, that needs to be placed on the sound level meter prior to utilization or else wind can um, really wreak havoc on these meters. All right. Once we minimize the sound around us, make sure no one is talking, no deputies, no persons, citizens around you, make sure everybody else is, is quiet, we can start by hitting the uh, run button, which is number five. Once we hit run, we are now recording. You can see time here, it's counting. Uh, we're going to take a measurement for a certain period of time. Um, some ordinances require certain time frames. Others, um, you, you can pretty much determine how long you want to do it, 30 seconds, a minute. Uh, but as you're recording, picking up all the highest and the lowest uh, decibel ratings, and it's giving us this number here, which is the level equivalence. This is the average decibel level. This is the decibel level we're going to determine if we're going to issue a violation. So um, I've let this record for 42 seconds, and, and by me ending this room speaking, we're at 65.5 decibels. Let's say I want to stop at 50. I'm going to hit the pause button and pause our study. All right. Now I've determined, utilizing this, that they are either in violation or not in violation. So we can also key through, now that we've, Taking our study, we can get some more specific information by hitting the enter button, and it'll give you very detailed decibel level ratings in the different megahertz ranges. Um, the highest decibel level rating during our 51 second measurement period was 71.4. The level equivalence was 65.5. But this is the number, the LEQ is the number, the main number we're going to determine whether we're issuing a violation. And then we're all done. We want to save this into our meters. We're going to hit stop and hold it down for three seconds. What that does is it clears and saves your data. So if you're going to write an ordinance violation, you'll have that data saved inside your meter and you'll download that data on your laptop and uh, it'll print you a PDF and you'll be able to, to uh, provide that in a court proceeding if needed. If you want to continue and take another sound level meter, meter reading, um, you just hit the escape button, go back to view session, hit enter, and you start all over again. And you would hit the run button, run, let it run for as long as you would want it to, pause it, and this would tell you what your level equivalence decibel level reading is, and then you'd stop it and pause it, which will for three seconds, which will save your data. And that is basically how you operate these meters. I'll uh, provide another video showing you how to download this information on the